In today's video, I will be showing you how to make a spicy smoky pizza sauce. Hello friends, you welcome back to the Afro Food Diary. My name is Geraldine. I bring you a pizza sauce recipe, one that you would always be happy to make for your family. You'll be needing very simple ingredients for this sauce and you can find them wherever you are. You need a clove of garlic and then you need some chili uh, pepper. These peppers are very, very spicy. So I'll be taking some of that, not everything. You need some basil leaves. This is what we call curry leaves in Nigeria, readily available. You need a pack of tomatoes. I bought this one because it has the basil leaves, that is curry leaves and oregano blended alongside the tomatoes, okay? But if you have just tomatoes, then you can just find your basil leaves and uh, add to the plain tomatoes. I would also be using this pack as well because it has a mix of oregano and, uh, and uh, uh, what's the name? <laughs> and garlic, oh my God, guys, yeah. Of course, you can skip that since we will be adding some garlic to this as well. But I prefer to use those two packs of tomatoes as my starters. You need salt, you need oregano dry one, you need rosemary or thyme, you need ginger powder and a mix of uh, dried spices. And some light olive oil. So first I'm going to be cutting up two of the chili peppers i use the green ones because they are very spicy add to the blender alongside the crushed tomatoes the garlic a teaspoon of the rosemary blend it up into the smooth paste and you can see that already looks like a pizza sauce right okay so pour it into a pot i'm using my good old pot here and please leave the uh, cover open, do not cover it and allow the water to uh, dry out by steaming this up. The steaming process is going to make the tomatoes less sour, yeah. So, and why, if you feel it's bubbling over like mine did, you just stir it a little bit at the surface. At this point, you can take it down if you're using this sauce immediately, but I let it dry out because I'm going to be storing mine for the festive season, okay? Take that as a note. Or just make it as light or as thick as you would want it to be, okay? So next in this uh, pan, I'm going to be adding about three tablespoons of olive oil. Olive oil is the best for pizza sauces. Then about a teaspoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of dried ginger, and a teaspoon of the dried uh, mixed spices, and some salt to taste. I'm going to stir this, and the essence is to give this uh, sauce a uh, smoky flavor. So at this point, I added the, uh, the already steam dried tomato sauce. And you will notice and be careful with the amount of oil I'm adding to this. You will see the reason at the end of this video. Okay, so stir that together. At this point, you don't need to fry the tomatoes for long. It's already steam dried and ready. So slice up the fresh basil leaves or curry leaves at this point, like I'm doing. And then sprinkle onto your already ready sauce. Stay that together and our sauce will be ready. So give that a taste to see if everything is okay. Mine is ready and this is what we have here. It is thick but you can make it lighter by leaving some water in your tomatoes. I'm storing mine for the festive season and this is what I do. I put it in some containers and uh, cover the surface with some olive oil. I'm going to be keeping that in my fridge. The oil on top is going to preserve it until I use them up. In my next episode, I'll be sharing with you a sauce or stew alternative for the festive season. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button for this video. Share it with your friends and family who would want to benefit from this kind of videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.